What's up guys, this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you guys a new ROM for our Nexus 5X which is called the Pure Z ROM which is based on the Xperia Z basically. So today I'll be showing you how to flash it and also give you my initial impressions and also show you guys all the new features that are present in this ROM. So without any further ado, let's begin. So to flash this ROM, just have to do is go into your recovery mode. So for this you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. So on the 5X, just have to do is power off your device and then hold the power and volume down at the same time so just hold them until you are in the bootloader mode so don't mind this basically because this is like the roms bo uh, bootloader mode or fast boot mode what you do is go into your recovery mode uh make sure you have a dwrp recovery or any recovery but also make sure that you're on the latest version of the recovery itself so once into the recovery there you can see the latest one for now is 3.02-2 so make sure you're on that as for now and so once into the recovery mode the first thing you need to do is just back up your previous rom just in case if anything goes wrong you could like restore it from the backup itself so once the backup is done go into wipe select advanced wipe select the dalvik art cache system data and cache do not select the internal storage because that's where you have the rom file and just swipe to wipe and then wait until it's done so once the wipe is done just go to home select install and scroll down until you see the rom itself the rom page also consists the bootloader the vendor image and the radio image but we were on the latest version of the vendor image so we do not need to flash the radio bootloader and vendor image so we'll just flash the rom itself and swipe to confirm flash and again we'll just wait until it's done So as you can see, I guess this ROM comes pre-rooted uh, because the, it did install the VisiBox. But yeah, the ROM is flash and we'll just reboot the system now. And I'll let you guys see the new boot animation. Okay, while installing the ROM itself, it did say that it will boot loop. I mean, it will loop the boot process a couple of times. So do not worry. This is normal, and just let it, let all the things happen on its own. So there we go, the ROM is now booted up. So what I'll do is I'll just skip through all the things for now. And as you can see, it says welcome to Google Pixel because this ROM is based on Android version 7.1.1 itself. So I'll be showing you that in a second. So there we go, we are in the ROM itself. As you can see, we also have the Pixel Nav bar animation right over here. Uh, we also have the Sony app drawer. There you can see. Uh, I'll just quickly go into my settings real quick and I'll be showing you guys the ROM itself, the settings itself. So there you can see we get the support. We also have the blue accent in this ROM. Again, it's based on 7.1.1. So there you can see. Android is 7.1.1 itself. Going back again, the pixel and the build number is Pure Z ROM Xperia Player. So, developer options are now enabled. And yeah, there we have it. Uh, again, I think Google Assistant is working in this as well. There you can see the Assistant is working here quite well. We have the Xperia Launcher right over here. Settings and allow rotation icon appearance uh, let's set it to pick Xperia X apply going down here again Google now we, we want that as well add icons to home and yep there we go here are all the Xperia settings right over here uh, quickly jumping into the camera we'll see okay this is like the basic Google camera itself so 
there we go uh, i don't think this is the zero shutter lag camera the zsl camera uh but yeah it's pretty good also we now have the google now page right over here going into settings real quick we'll check out what all features we have uh, in this rom itself so wi-fi bluetooth uh, and everything is normal display we have the night light mode right over there we also have the display size which is pretty pretty cool so we could like set it to small and there we go going back we have notifications sound apps storage battery memory all the basic things that we get in android 7.1.1 uh moves we have swipe for notifications as well so we'll just see if that works or not so if i just swipe down nope doesn't work like other roms so uh yeah that was like again expected as i said tap to pay we also have android pay unfortunately not supported in india though but you get that as well then again going to about phone system updates uh, I don't think it supports the OTA updates though, but uh, yeah, this ROM is like really really good. Going to developer options, we have all the basic things here. Checking the notification panel over here, as you can see, it's pretty similar to like the stock 7.21 notification panel and the quick toggles. We could like edit, edit right from over here, we could add or remove stuff. There you can see we have few more options here uh, that would be like Xperia stuff. Again, the app drawer over here. We have all the Xperia things, the calculator, the movie creator, the sketch, track ID, launch. Let, let us see what's in others. The file commander again, Xperia, Xperia thing. Uh, we have root enabled. So there you can see. No thanks. So root is enabled. Over here, we also have the pixel icon pack. We also have the theme support, which is like pretty cool. Uh, you could download tons and tons of themes from the Play Store itself. So yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, just grant the super easy permissions, allow, allow, and yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Nothing more to showcase in this ROM. It's basically based on the stock 7.1.1 rom itself and you have the uh, xperia launcher and stuff the xperia launch all the xperia features that you have let us check the dialer the dialer is google dialer itself so nothing much in this rom it's just if you want a feel if you want a feel of xperia devices this rom is for you other than that everything's like stock android and stock google based uh, that's pretty much it guys thank you for this video also let me know what all roms do you want to see for your nexus 5x in the future videos i'll be happy to make them as well so yeah for now for this rom that's pretty much it thank you for in this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll get you guys in my next one